Hey, welcome to a new video. Giving birth is an amazing moment for both humans and animals. In this video, we'll explore some special births in the animal kingdom. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Before we start, also like the video. Number 10. Katie, a world famous giraffe from the Dallas Zoo gave birth to a healthy male calf. When he was born, the baby was standing at almost six feet tall and weighed around 150 pounds. Katie is a nine-year-old female and this is her third successful birth. The new calf and Katie are both doing well, with the baby spending his initial days learning to walk and following his mother around their enclosure. The baby giraffe will spend a few weeks bonding behind the scenes before meeting the experienced elder of the herd, Uncle Augie, who is known for his patience with new arrivals. Eventually, the calf will join the rest of the giraffe herd in the feeding yard. Only around 4,700 reticulated giraffes the subspecies cared for at this zoo are left in the wild. The giraffe population overall has decreased by almost 40% in the past 30 years making them scarcer than African elephants. Katie gained worldwide attention in 2015 when she delivered her calf to Penzi in a live-streamed event on Animal Planet that was watched by millions of viewers. Number 9. Five cheetah cubs were born at Kango Wildlife Branch and are now thriving and doing exceptionally well. Their birth was the first time that the arrival of cheetah cubs was captured live on camera. Pippa, the mother cheetah, showed incredible strength and maternal instincts during the birth. The cubs, four male and one female, were named Vegas, Valiant, Valco, Viking, and Valora. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals, capable of reaching speeds of up to 70 miles per hour in short bursts. They have slender bodies and non-retractable claws, which help in providing traction during high-speed chases. Kango Wildlife Ranch has a history of preserving various animal species, and despite the challenges, they want to keep the cheetah DNA healthy in captivity, as they are classified as vulnerable. Number 8. Meet Kalaya, a 20-year-old western lowland gorilla that gave birth to a healthy cub at the Smithsonian National Zoo. A detailed birth plan was in place to handle any potential complications. Although the goal for gorilla births is minimal intervention, throughout the pregnancy, Kalaya was monitored closely. When her sac broke without going into labor, they followed the human procedure, providing antibiotics to prevent infection. Gorillas are highly intelligent and exhibit complex social behaviors as they live in close family groups. After some time, Kalaya was found holding her newborn in her arms. The staff was yet to weigh the baby gorilla, but they confirmed it is a female without approaching or disrupting the mother. Kalaya has shown immense affection for her daughter, kissing her head and inspecting her tiny fingers. She already has another child who is trying to adjust to the new family member and their father, Baraka, exhibits typical behavior by remaining nearby while still keeping his distance. The other females in the enclosure have also been supportive. Number 7. Imagine going back to your hut in India just to find a leopardess that broke in and gave birth to four cubs inside your home. It was posted on social media and it created a lot of attention and also delayed the rescue operations for the mother leopard as the forest department is waiting for her to move the cubs to a safer location. All four cubs are healthy and started to move around a bit but because they're nearby, capturing the mother leopard is not an option. The Indian leopard is a vulnerable species on the IUCN red list, primarily due to its declining population. But the Indian leopard is one of the most adaptable cats, and they can thrive in a wide range of habitats. It will take a couple of weeks for them to start walking on their own and seeing properly so the mom can safely move them. Number 6. A male grevy zebra foal was born to a female named Tori. This birth holds significant importance for Grevy zebra conservation as the species is currently classified as endangered, with only about 2,800 
of them left in the wild. Tori's recent foal is the third that she's given birth to at the Toronto Zoo, with the first born in 2014 and the second born in 2016. All three foals have the same father, and the most recent baby is healthy, and so is the mom. The Toronto Zoo wants to name the new baby via an online poll, and the results will be shown on their Facebook page. Grevy zebras are highly social animals, often forming small groups called harems, consisting of one male and several females. Number 5. A rare Sumatran tiger cub was born in the London Zoo. This is the first tiger cub born at the zoo in the last 17 years. Melody's pregnancy was kept secret, and zookeepers were closely monitoring her through hidden cameras to ensure she wasn't disturbed during the gestation period. Melody gave birth after just six minutes of labor, and the cub came out perfectly healthy. Her maternal instincts immediately kicked in after birth, as she licked the cub all over. It quickly started wriggling around, showing signs of good health. The baby's sex is not yet determined, as they want to give them enough time to bond. It'll be several weeks before Melody feels comfortable letting her cub roam outside on its own. Number 4. Charlie, a female Komodo dragon at the Chattanooga Zoo in Tennessee, gave birth to three hatchlings without a male partner. Despite being introduced to a potential mate, Charlie chose to use parthenogenesis to produce the three babies, Onyx, Jasper, and Flint. Komodo dragons are the largest lizards on Earth and are native to only a few Indonesian islands, which is why they developed this breeding skill. This is very rare among vertebrates, with only about 0.1% of all vertebrate species capable of parthenogenesis. It occurs when an egg is fertilized by another egg rather than sperm leading to the development of embryos without male genetic contribution. Female Komodo dragons carry WZ chromosomes, while males carry ZZ chromosomes. As per parthenogenesis, the mother can only create WW or ZZ eggs. Since WW eggs are not viable, only ZZ eggs are left and only male hatchlings are produced. Number 3. A rescued pangolin brought in for treatment gave a surprise birth at the Johannesburg Wildlife Veterinary Hospital in South Africa. The baby pangolin was named Mishwa, which means surprise in the Shona language. Pangolins are often referred to as living dinosaurs, as they are the only mammals with protective keratin scales covering their bodies. Despite the happiness surrounding Mishwa's arrival, the team remains careful, as she was born prematurely while in captivity. Pangolins are delicate animals and require special care and small animal experts. This birth was celebrated as pangolins are highly endangered due to various threats they face in the wild. They are notably the world's most trafficked mammals, primarily driven by the illegal wildlife trade. Number 2. A pregnant raccoon broke into a convertible car and gave birth to two cubs in the back seat. The mother managed to enter the car through the plastic cover on the window. Raccoons are highly adaptable and are known for their dexterity and problem-solving abilities. Mom, along with her babies, peed all over the car, chewed on shoes, and tore up the sunshades. Rescuers slowly searched the vehicle, finding one cub initially, but knowing raccoon litters typically consist of three to five babies, they kept searching. Finally, they discovered the second baby cub stuck in the trunk, soaking wet due to the car's top not being fully up. They transported them to a nearby wooded area and released them back into the wild. Number 1. Lacey the White Deer gave birth to two fawns. The first fawn resembled a regular baby, while the second one was a perfect reflection of its mother, inheriting her distinctive pale white fur. White deer have been the subject of numerous myths and legends. In Native American folklore, they are considered sacred, symbols of purity and spirituality. They are extremely rare, especially in the wild, where they're easily spotted by predators, while being safer in the snowy areas, where they blend perfectly. White-tailed deer possess a genetic condition called leucism, which affects their pigmentation 
And unlike albinism, leucism results in only a partial loss of pigment, giving the deer a unique white color while retaining some normal coloration. Which of the births was the most special to you? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.